Hey y'all, it's Digging again. So today we're gonna be talking about hip wizard beard carrots wash. So we're gonna get on that website and talk about the ingredients, the pricing, all that good stuff, make some recommendations. Before that, just remember you can use code BGG20 to save yourself 20% on his products. He has it on his site. And I will have a link to his website in the description below, as well as the code again for y'all just a reminder. So let's go ahead and get into that website real quick. And here is his main page. So all you do is go to the very top and click on the word products up here. Then right here, just click on the cleansing conditioner. And it brings up four different uh, current scents that he has in his uh, wash. That is Grape Stomper, Maui Waui, Blueberry Haze, and Strawberry Switchblade. Now I actually got the uh, Grape Stomper. So let's go ahead and click on that. And as you can see over here, it is $18.99. Now, it does not tell me the size of the bottle, so please, uh, if you would, add the size of the bottle on here. That way people know what size it is, but it is a four-ounce bottle for $18.99. Now, you can see there's no list of ingredients, and I checked the ingredients page. Uh, no ingredients for the wash there, so please, you could maybe add the in list of ingredients on the ingredients page, because I know you can actually see it in the picture here but just be more easier to see on the ingredients page. So let's go over the ingredients real quick. And I'll just read it off the bottle here. It is avocado oil, grapeseed oil, castor oil, almond oil, coconut oil, olive oil, potassium hydroxide, jojoba oil, palm kernel oil, hemp seed oil, citric acid, lye, blue dreams, terpenes, and essential oils for the scent. All right, so when it comes to the scent, so here's a uh, great bubble gum. Now, I actually did a scent review video a little while back on a couple of the scents, and I actually did a full review of his beard oils too as well. I'll just link those, both of those videos at the end of this video if you wanna check it out. But I did have, uh, my scent review video, I did have the Grape Stomper for that one. And to me, I said, talked about a, uh, you know, it smells kind of like a, a grape uh, drink. And that's what it kind of smells like, but you know, definitely get that grape in there. So definitely, if you like uh, the grape scents, I think you'll definitely like this one. All right, so let's talk about the wash itself. Uh, first of all, you know, just let you know, this is a thin wash. So just be careful when you first uh, pour some out, it will come out pretty quick. But uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, putting in the beard, definitely did a good job keeping my beard nice and clean. Definitely had a you know, decent amount of lather, so definitely enjoyed that. Because um, the lathering, you know, I always have a video out there, the lathering properties is what actually helps keep the beard clean. You know, those, those the lathering actually is pulling out, helping pull out the dirt and grime and stuff uh, versus a non-lathering uh, cleaning product. So, you know, it helps wash it out. You know, the, the uh, lathering actually helps draw it out and helps wash it out a lot easier. And also, uh, you know, definitely did a really good job, like I said, to keep my beard nice and clean. So, and afterwards, it did felt, you know, still felt kind of soft afterwards. So I definitely enjoyed that. But, you know, I always, even after I wash, you know, my beard, uh, after I take a shower, I still go ahead and put some oil and uh, for my skin, of course, and some beard butter just to give that extra softness. So definitely, overall, I definitely do recommend this. Definitely did a good job. So, like I said, just be careful about uh, when you pour it out. And always, of course, again, just like your bearded oils, you know, you do want to, uh, you know, shake it up just a little bit to uh, make sure all the ingredients are mixed uh, really good in there. And again, you know, you can always use uh, code VDG20 to save yourself 20%. Oh, and also one thing I do want to mention too as well, you know, the label held pretty good in the, uh, the shower. I've had it in the, my shower ever since I've got it, but there is just one little area right here where it's faded off right there. So, but Ross held up pretty good. So not, not too bad. So definitely enjoyed it. So you can go check out his products. Again, I will have a link to his website in the description below. And remember, keep, keep your beers and statues healthy. healthy. Till next, next video. video.